Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at small radios, big televisions. It's a puzzle game, but it takes as its theme environmental change, climate change, and the danger to our civilization from not taking the correct steps. It's one of those short, gentle games. Uh, it's been written by a guy called Owen Deary, uh, but it's one of those games that sort of helps you relax. It's pretty straightforward in terms of uh, how you play it, but it's also very enjoyable, I found. Uh, I like the the simple art style that he's used. I mean, he's used it, uh, at, at, you know, he's made a, a benefit out of necessity, but I love these, these primary colors, the way the factories look, and the way that uh, you sort of move from these rooms, which are all sort of similar, but all different. Let's talk about the, uh, the mechanics here. So you look around these rooms in the factories and you find these old fashioned cassette tapes, you put them on your Walkman, and lo and behold, they take you to a, a sort of a pretty place, which and it, it displays a kind of yearning for the past, the past without factories, without grime, a place where you can go to and enjoy nature as it was meant to be enjoyed. And so the mystery is kind of who these people were that were running this factory, why they uh, yearned for this world as well. So the puzzles, are, you know, you saw there that you picked up a key and that's how the puzzles work. You sort of interact with the rooms, you interact with the tapes, and you picked up these. You pick up these keys, which you then uh, place in, uh, in in the doors to, to to move on. Pretty straightforward stuff. You've seen it all before, but it's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. You can get lost in these rooms sometimes. It's always worthwhile having a look at the map, which I think shows up uh, in a few minutes. Uh, I found myself kind of going back to the same rooms and getting slightly frustrated uh, until I realised you know what I was missing, and that's what puzzle games are are all about. What do you do when you come into this room? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, you pull the handle, and there's a lot of sort of handle pulling and putting the cogs in the right place and moving the machinery uh, so that it, it comes to the right place. So, what has this all got to do with uh, with the environment? Well, I mean, I spoke to Owen, and he said that you know, he he first started off with this idea for a you know a general puzzle game that was set in a in a world in which something had obviously gone wrong, uh, but instead of doing the whole alien invasion thing. He wanted to do something that was relevant to our lives today. And that's what I like about a lot of games today is that they're not going for this kind of fairly lazy sci-fi tropes. They're trying to investigate uh, societal problems, things that are going on in our lives at the moment. And you'll remember how much uh, we liked Virginia uh, that came out a couple of months ago. And, and similar to this game in terms of the way that it, it looks in many ways, uh, although there are no human figures in this game. And another thing that you can do in this game which is quite an interesting uh, philosophical idea is you take the tapes and you mangle them up. There are machines that you come across from time to time. When you throw the cassette into the machine, the machine sort of messes with the tape. And then when you put the tape into your recorder, this sort of VR type experience that, that you see has changed slightly and it's been degraded in some way. And, you know, I think to a certain extent, that speaks to the world that we live in, in which the environments that we care about uh, are being degraded. And you know, as I speak, there are people who are bravely uh, protesting against oil pipelines going through their lands and potentially ruining their water. And, you know, these factories have clearly been set up in order to try to uh, slow or mitigate the an environmental disaster. And the people inside them use these cassettes to take themselves back to natural worlds. And we've seen, I think this year especially, a lot of video games that show a certain romantic nostalgia for uh, for the outside world. You know, you look at something like Firewatch, which I really enjoyed, or Oxenfree, or Everyone's Gone to the Rapture, even, uh, even The Witness, you know, there's a sort of verdant outdoorsiness about these games, even though they are impacted by modernity and by a certain amount of menace, and obviously, by gameplay mechanics, whether that's conversation trees or logic puzzles, uh, or really very simple kind of explore puzzles that we see uh, in this in this game here. So, the basic details about uh, um, li little radios, big televisions. I keep getting that name the wrong way around, by the way. Uh, extraordinary name. Uh, but the, the the news about it is it's coming out on November the eighth. Uh, it's being released released on PlayStation Four, and I think it was Sony getting in touch with uh, what was a small 
uh, development project and kind of helping it along that has made it into this bigger project but it's also coming out on Windows PC so you can uh, you can order it on Steam I'm about halfway through I guess I'm probably a bit further actually because I'm told that the game is about three hours long I've played uh, maybe an hour and a half or two hours of it I'm enjoying it so far uh, it's pretty straightforward stuff but uh, as I say it's out on November the 8th you can read my fuller preview over on Polygon <laughs>